For this video, I went ahead and modeled out this hockey stick. The first thing I did was I created a cylindrical shape, deleted the majority of it except for this one piece, and then I would shape it out to match the reference of the object, which is the hockey stick. Then I would extrude these endpoints from the edges to perfectly match the shape so that it wasn't going off on just a, a planar polygonal object and instead using that circular shape from the cylindrical object and then extruding from those endpoints. And so I would then take these edges and, and as I'm extruding them, I would just play around with the topography, taking the vertices, making sure that they were mat lining up with the reference. And then in some cases, I would then just take the edge and straighten it out by holding down the J button and then pressing the scale tool and then just dragging it out. And then this would be the, the case for the majority of this process when modeling the shape of the of this end stick just to line it up as best as I could and in some instances you can see that the topography was not necessarily lining up so I would have to you know go back on a few of them and just match them up with the reference and in some instances I would take a few and you know, I would take some time looking at it and then realize that well this isn't working to my working to the reference so I'm gonna have to go back and delete a few things and go from there and in some instances you know going back a second time does help but it does slow you down I then try to play along with this new method of generating um, an extrude method which would give you a little bit more shape and definition by adding some divisions but at the same time though it didn't necessarily add to the shape that I was hoping that it would do but instead I would have to manually shape it to where I would want it to in order for my in order for the object to match up with how I wanted the shape to look like and so then I would switch, go back to the extrude options and change that back to its initial settings. And then I would then take the object and then try to average the vertices. But unfortunately, the algorithm or the process for the average vertices was not giving me the appropriate result that I was looking for so I would have to play around with the smoothing amount and even set at the lowest level still wasn't getting me anywhere that I wanted the shape to be and I thought that this would help get the shape a little bit smoother and maybe make the edges a little bit less a little less rough but unfortunately it didn't do that so I ended up just scratching it from there on out and from this point on I would then finish up with the shape of the stick and then make sure and make my adjustments as best as I could then go into my perspective mode again using the same method pressing and holding down J to straighten out that stick and object and the mesh would flatten itself and then I would be ready for the next part which would be extruding those pieces to get the rest of this stick in place. Here on out, I would then extrude these pieces to make the rest of the stick and then try to match it up as close to the reference as possible. And then in doing so, I would play around with the settings or play around with the edges and make sure that they were lining up. I left a little space at the top because sometimes there are rubber tops that you find on the ends of uh, hockey sticks so I wanted to leave that up for, for edit in case I wanted to change anything or make a little make some additions to it. 
and as you can see I'm deleting some stuff because unfortunately it wasn't working or if the shape of the object wasn't matching up so I would you know do a trial by error just continue to see, approach it and attack it at different sections and in different ways until I got it to match up and to my liking and in some instances you do need to have sort of an eye for it and a lot of the reference you'll find online is not necessarily the best but you make do with what you have available and in other cases you do find reference that is you know perfectly shaped or there's perfect lighting etc. So this part I would then use the non-deformers bend tool to help shape the end of the stick. Now one of the things I've noticed at looking some of the references in regards to hockey sticks is that there's a slight bend at the end of the hockey stick where they're usually hitting the pucks at so I would then take the bend, uh, the non-deformer bend tool and then just play around with the curvature setting a high bound of zero and a low bound of negative 0.5 and then just trying to bend it slightly at the end of it and then just playing around with some of the settings by going up and down using the you know using the scale tool and then just bending it in the direction of how I have it and then usually for a for a referencing point I just looked at the, um, some other I just looked at some reference and photographs and see if there was anything that I could use to match it up and so the best I could I made it so it was curved just a little bit inward and then finally at this point I ended up deleting some of the faces off of the body of the stick because I noticed that the vertices were not merged at one point and so it was causing me a lot of problems um, because if I wanted to bevel out the entire uh, model I would have to have this entire piece to be one um, connected joint otherwise it wasn't going to process so I ended up just extruding out another portion to match the reference and then as I finished that I would then extrude it with a thickness of 0.1 and then notice some irregularities within the model so I took some of those faces and then just deleted them and then simultaneously using the interactive split tool and then connecting the edges to each end which would then give me back those faces and then fixing any sort of irregularities in the topography and the topology and then adding selecting the edges and then adding a bevel or before doing that I would have to merge all the vertices and then once I merged all the vertices I would select the edges all around the stick add in a bevel about 0.4 and then adding in maybe some edges in there as well and then deleting the top faces of the stick so that when I go to unwrap that it wouldn't cause me any problems and then just fixing some of the other portions and making sure everything was lined up and that would be pretty much it for this hockey stick which would then I would rotate at a 45 degree angle to straighten it out and then this is where we unwrap.